So October 31st has arrived, and I just want to start out by wishing you all the spookiest of Halloween. Ah, yikes. Hold on a second. Hold on. Can I help you? Trick or treat, bitch. Dude, it's like October 29th. Halloween's not for another two days. What the, what are you doing? Yeah, I understand that, boss, but it's gonna be Halloween when you upload this video, so trick or treat, bitch. Okay, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, but uh, aren't you a little old to be trick or treating yourself? Aren't you a little old to be making YouTube commentary videos? <laughs> what are you, like 45 or something? For Christ's sake. I'm, I'm not, uh, no, I'm not 45. No, you're I'm old. I am clearly. not 40. You're like, you're like 45 years I am old. not 45. You're like 45 for real. I'm not, I'm not 45! No. You're 45. All right, I'm just gonna forget about the fact that it's not even Halloween, that you're damn near 50 years old yourself, but you can't even take the time to finish a costume. You, you get the coif, the sword, but you're like, no, screw it, I'm not gonna get the tunic. You throw on like a, a button-down dress shirt and call it a day, and you expect me to give you, you expect me to give you candy? You expect me to reward your laziness. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> Let me get that Snickers, though. All right, fine. You got me. Take a Snickers. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. 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 Mm. This is the one. <laughs> get pranked, bitch! <laughs> Did you really think that your little self-aware skit would gain you favor with your fans? <laughs> you have no fans! I put this channel on my back while you were busy eating yourself to death and off having children with your wretched wife. Well, guess what, Leon? This channel is my child now! Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Emmy nominated horror film. My name is Spooky Lush and I am just touched that you would decide to join me here today as we celebrate Satan's birthday. <laughs> um, first order of business, what was that bit in the beginning with Nigel telling me like I was going to die tonight or something? That was a little, that was a little dark. I'm all for fun and games and joking around. Obviously we like to have fun on this channel, but... Sometimes, you know, you might need to pump the brakes. Actually, I don't really feel comfortable. I don't really feel comfortable with him right now. Oh, my back. <sighs> Much better. Now, Halloween is a big production in this country, right? Harking back to when you were a wee child, rolling around with your pumpkin bucket, collecting free candy from all your neighbors. I mean, free candy for a kid is about as good as life gets. Until you get a little bit older and start experimenting with drugs. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And then you move on to the college age and it's like just a great excuse to dress up slutty, go to a frat party and drink a bunch of rum punch and wake up next to somebody dressed as a Fortnite skin. And then as you get older, like into your adulthood, Halloween is that one time of year when you can just hold on for dear life to that last shred of youthfulness you have inside you that hasn't been crushed by the pressures of your professional life and your relationship struggles. Now for me personally, my days of getting all dolled up and schmoozing at a costume party are in my rearview mirror. I don't need Halloween as an excuse to hold on to my youthfulness because quite frankly, I have this YouTube channel where I can physically assault the baby monkey and make jokes about kids growing up to discover drugs. <laughs> YOLO. Anyways, since I no longer do anything fun on Halloween, I thought I would look inward towards the community we've built on this channel and on Twitter uh, to see what you guys are up to, see what you guys are doing to stay youthful and to have fun uh, around this glorious holiday of Satan's birth. <laughs> I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some of your best and worst Halloween costumes and memes, so let's uh, take a whack at it. <laughs> I was supposed to be a unicorn, but turned into a flamboyant anime villain, drunkenly roaming the streets with my wife. 
Now, your first mistake was not putting quotations around wife, because keeping a girl around that's a friend of yours just to keep your very conservative parents off the scent of you actually being gay, that doesn't really constitute an actual wife. So I think the quotations <laughs> would have been necessary. Okay, so this Bush costume does not remotely resemble an actual Fortnite bush. I give this a zero out of 10 victory royales. Here's me and my cousin. I hate it because I did the, hey, I'm a slut with cat ears. Ugh, no trying at all. Listen, in my collegiate experience, which seems like a lifetime ago, uh, if you didn't do that move, you were the minority. So really you're on par, I think, right here. My costume this year, you decide if it's best or worst. Okay, honestly, I don't know who Shego is, but it, from here, it looks fantastic. Yeah, I'd say you nailed it. When the sex role play goes too far, Okay, decent meme, but I think a missed opportunity. If I'm doing the bottom text of this, I'm thinking something like taking a selfie after stubbing my toe in the basement on a bookshelf while my dad is coincidentally behind me trying on his Halloween costume. I think that probably fit. I think that fits better. Don't have a costume, but here's some orange juice in me. I don't... This is weird. All I'm seeing is two cartons of orange juice here. The dude underneath is like, it's a good Ron Weasley costume. <laughs> Underrated tweet. Me and my girl is Bob Ross in his painting. Okay, first of all, couples costumes, cute AF. Wicked bonus points, right? Also, Bob Ross meme, more bonus points. This definitely is going in the best category. <laughs> I see what you did there. Costumes on a budget, baby. Gotta love it. Someone sent me this montage of someone dressed up as Ricky Berwick for Halloween. That's, uh... Ooh. That's a tough one to pull off. I don't mind it initially, but I'm a little confused. I don't like, are you a, are you a dog witch? Are you a hot witch dog? I don't know, like if you, you could have been a sandwich. That would have made sense if you dress up as a sandwich then do the witch thing. But this right now, too much confusion. That's negative points. That's nine, that's negative. I'm docking you seven, uh, six points for confusion. Should have been a sandwich. Okay, definite points for the 2012 Subaru Forester costume, but let's be honest, your girl is stealing the show right now, dressing up as Emoji Face. How long do you think it is before Emoji Face becomes an offensive Halloween costume? I give it like two more years. This is my principal, lots of lettuce. <laughs> well, this costume is... incredible. <laughs> I was the walking map of Hyrule from Link to the Past last year and brought along an actual map of Hyrule with Link accompanying me. That's all I got. Well, Jay, that's all you need, because if you do anything related to Zelda, that's an automatic best. Okay, this is excellent execution, but I think there is such thing as too spooky, and right now I am like dog in a thunderstorm level of spooked, so it's going to be tough for me to grade it. Nice. Love it. What? A fidget spinner. A little moisty. Uh, cut it out. When you think you make an awesome Hulk, but everyone thinks you're Shrek. <laughs> oh. The curse of being muscular fat. I know it well, my friend. God bless. Ah, my man dug into the archives for this one. I think this is actually the last time I dressed up for Halloween. It was when I was in a band. I actually played a show in that outfit uh, on Halloween night. <laughs> Memories. Huh. Erica Costell dressed up as a schoolgirl. That's cute. Here's another one from Alexis Steele. Clearly a professional Halloweener. I love what the purple's doing for this whole ensemble. It really brings it together. I was Filthy Frank and I really put those ravies in my shirt pocket. Listen, if people dressing up as Filthy Frank is the only way we're going to get new Filthy Frank content, I wish it was Halloween every damn day. Here we have a tampon dressed up as a human drinking Guinness. Ugh. Nice. Oh, the classic sexy drunk psycho girlfriend text costume. I hear this one's a real hit amongst Instagram comedians. If you put this in a video, I will polish your co- Okay. And finally, eight people dressed as Luigi. Eight people, because seven Luigis is not enough. Okay, I have had as much spookiness as I can take for one night. I just want to thank you all so much uh, for participating. There were so many good ones. I was only able to scratch the surface. I probably only got to about 15% of what you guys sent me. I had a great time looking through them all, though. Uh, I do appreciate it. I hope you have a great Halloween. I truly do. Uh, if you do decide to enjoy a little bit of candy, like you get that Three Musketeers, that Snickers, that Twix piling up in the house, I just all I ask is that you practice safe candy eating and wear a condom. 
So go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you're new here, it would mean the world if you'd subscribe. And if you're a Tomato Mafia veteran, you know I appreciate you. One last thing before you go, though. If you could just walk around your neighborhood and collect as many pumpkins as you can find, bring them all back to the house, cut them open, and just eat all of the pumpkin guts you can muster. Just stuff it all down your throat until you get the urge to, to let it all come back up. But then find like a local wedding at a church nearby like you know there's weird couples that get married on halloween night and get to the service walk halfway down the aisle while they're in the middle of the vows and just projectile vomit those pumpkin guts all over the church floor and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me i do appreciate it uh trick or treat Thanks.